Go ahead. You ready? Go. Let's call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, June 22nd, 2015. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors. Good evening, guests that are here. President, Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you. I'd just like to take a moment of personal privilege and uh, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence. The city of Brockton lost a, uh, a great friend, a, a great Brocktonian, a uh, lifelong Brocktonian. Uh, Peter Gennaris passed away this past weekend. He was a proud graduate of Brockton High, served the children of Abington for 35 years as a principal of uh, the elementary school over there, and with his family ran the Brockton Cafe for generations and supported more more uh, non-profit organizations through that than, than most of us will ever be involved with. And uh, uh, everywhere he went, and he was a world traveler, he talked of Brockton. And it was, uh, he's a great Brocktonian, and I'd like to have a moment of silence for him. Thank you. May you rest in peace. Thank you. <coughs> Council Sullivan. Mr. Cruz uh, said it all. Oh, Thank you, Mr. You're, President. You're, you're welcome. You. And, Councilors, I do want to also mention that Councilor Barnes contacted me earlier um, uh, this evening and indicated that she was not feeling well, would not be present this evening, and Councilor Stewart had uh, obligations at uh, work. That being said, uh, Mr. Clerk, item number one. We have the petition of El Rinconcito Body Shop for a motor vehicle repair mechanical body shop license located at 1000 Montello Street in City Clerk's Office, February 13th, 2015. Hearing is signed for June 22nd, 2015. All the necessary paperwork is on file, on file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. My name is Maria Bellin, representing the Erigoncito. Thank you. Good evening. How are you? All right. And you're uh, looking and applying for the mechanical body shop license at uh, 1000 Montello Street? Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. Anything else you'd like to, to add? Or? No. No? Nope. Anyone else here in favor? President. Yeah, you're right. Councilor Stadinsky? Ma'am, uh, we did not have a chance to discuss this. What days of the week is the intention of the owner to be open? We're planning to open on Monday through Saturday. And the hours that he would like to operate? Mondays through Friday from 8 to 5. And Saturday? Saturday from 8 to 12. Okay. Uh, that would be a stipulation on time, and that would be a water council is agreeable with that. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, yeah, anyone else here in favor? Do you want to come up and state your name and address to the to the clerk? Yeah, Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Please come forward and state your name and address to the to the clerk. In opposition to the petition? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. The stipulation uh, was the operational on, hours? On days of the week to operate in time. Eight, eight to uh, five during the uh, week, Monday through Friday, and eight to four on Saturday. I'm sorry, 8 to noon on Saturday. 8 to noon on Saturday? Is it yes. 8 to noon? 8 to noon. 8 to noon on Saturday. All in favor of the stipulations? Opposed? Stipulations passed. Uh, granting the license as stipulated. All in favor? Opposed? License has been granted. Thank you. Thank you. Petition of Extranet Systems Inc. for upgrades and modifications to 13 existing poll locations and distributed antenna systems for telecommunication wires and purchases. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Somebody's here in favor, I'm as they are. Please state your name and address to the, to the clerk. Yes, good evening, uh, members of the City Council. My name is Keenan Brin. I'm with uh, Network Building and Consulting. <coughs> uh, I'm the representative for Extanet Systems. Uh, I'm here tonight to discuss uh, an application by Extanet, which you have in front of you, I believe. Um, I have uh, I'd just like to give sure you some background on the, on the, uh, the application. Um, back in 2008, uh, Extinet Systems was granted uh, permission to use the right-of-way in Brockton uh, at 15 different locations. Uh, they went ahead and constructed this. Um, these grants of easements 
have been in place for a number of years. Uh, the application here is looking to replace and modify 13 of these locations. So two will be untouched and 13 uh, would, remain, would, would actually be modified. Um, bef before I discuss the technical uh, merits of the application, I'd like to point out a few things. Uh, first of all, Extinet is a registered provider with the Department of Telecommunications and Cable. We have agreements in place with both Verizon Communications and National Grid to utilize the poles and rights away. Uh, Extinet is a provider uh, nationally of these types of systems. They also uh, provide services for large venues, both indoors and outdoors. Um, I think this would be a, a good example of what could be uh, used for uh, wireless communications uh, that's aesthetically uh, pleasing uh, utilizing the existing poles. And again, I'd like to highlight the fact that uh, this is an existing system in place and we just like to modify it uh, per the plans that you may have in front of you. Um, the, actual project the, the actual project itself uh, would include the modification to these 13 poles uh, with the changes in the antennas themselves. Um, I'd like to maybe just take uh, a minute and introduce Paul Thurston. He's the Director of Engineering and uh, Services for Extinet, and he can give you a quick uh, synopsis of how the changes are going to be implemented and uh, how these may affect the polls. So Very good. Just, um, you know, just for record, because we don't have all the information in front of us as counselors, so I'm not sure where these 13 existing poll locations are, and maybe you might want to just indicate that to us since the... Uh, the locations are, uh, that we have is 21 Hancock Street, 36 Echo Street, 52 Perkins Street, 29 Newbury Street, 124 Forest Ave, 165 Court Street, 69 Huntington Street, 51 Rossiter Street, 65 Battle Street, 83 Herod Ave, 376 Center Street, 175 Moraine Street, and uh, 103 Wheeler Ave. Okay, so they're just simple. What it is is you're just replacing that particular pole, obviously. Would More directly, the pole will remain. Most, some of the equipment will remain. Right. We're actually going to modify okay. what equipment is on that particular pole. I, I, I understand. President? Okay, great. Council Sullivan. Who are you? Uh, yes, Council. Sir, is this, could you, I used to work in the telecom industry. Is this point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint technology, and is it, a, is it a cell phone or is it cable? What, what's the service provide? What yeah, is it? it would be a, a cellular service. And is it point-to-point, node-to-node, or? Yeah, I'm going to have maybe Paul just step in and he can give you a quick synopsis of how the system's designed and, you know, and how it works in Brockton. Does anybody on the Council have the application with them? And, no. And my, no. My other question is, if, w why aren't you doing all 15 if you're only doing 13 out of the 15? Um, Paul can give okay. you a quick description of that. It, it has to do with the preference of the uh, the Provider. of the client. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Dubois. I'm gonna. I, if you don't mind, I can wait until see what um, this gentleman has to say, and maybe he'll answer my questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, right. um, Paul Thurston, uh, again, Director of Network Implementation uh, in Engineering. I did the original build out for Brockton. Originally, the uh, 15 nodes, we call them, the telecommunication with the antennas on the utility poles, uh, are spread out at the uh, wireless carrier's desire uh, for coverage capacity reasons. Um, to either download data so the users can obviously have seamless coverage for themselves. When this network was originally built uh, back then, it was for Metro PCS, who has now been acquired by T-Mobile, uh, and their brand name is now called TMUS, T-M-U-S, for the joint company. Um, the ad for the additional equipment is actually um, for Verizon, which is a good thing, a big provider in the city uh, throughout, have a lot of 
clients and carriers, and they're looking to get added to this network. So to answer the question, um, they have either other rooftops or other uh, coverage areas that they wouldn't need to take all 15 locations, and they're only looking for 13, for which they've asked us to request from the city uh, if they could attach to those existing locations their equipment so we can uh, provide them service. Um, our hub is located at the Brockton Fairgrounds, um, where there is already an existing tower. We're not on the tower. We're just at, on a shelter at the base of the tower. Um, the network is, um, again, a distributed antenna system. We call it DAS, and it's um, fiber backbone from the hub to each particular node. Um, and then we, we backhaul it through, and they um, either can use it for capacity or coverage, all depending on um, how they want to use the equipment. So basically, in short layman's term, it's an upgrade to what's there pretty much. Pretty much, exactly. Yep. Okay, right. correct. Right. Makes it simplified. And counselors, the, uh, everything is here on file right here if anybody needs to see it in the, uh, in the clerk's office. Council Sullivan again. Mr. President, I just had one follow-up if I sure. could. Uh, sir, the, the City of Brockton acquired all the Cobra lights recently, a couple of years ago actually. Um, do any of these poles actually have any of the uh, assets of the city on them or, or are they free of uh, the Cobra light? Um, I would have to um, um, check. Most of them may have some type of a street light. Uh, it seems like a lot of them do, but out of 15, you might have five that would have some type of a light assembly possibly on them. I don't know off the top of my head. I can't remember. The actual upgrade is going to be at the tippity top of the pole itself? Well, yeah, we changed the antenna, which is already at the top of the pole, correct. And then at the um, comm space, we call it, is the actual equipment we <coughs> mount on the side of the pole. And it's just wired, is it just wired down? It's coaxial cable from like the a, antenna a to the equipment, down. and then it's fiber um, to the actual to the radio actual. itself. And, and so if, if some of these poles did actually have the, 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 the street light, the Cobra light that Brockton owns now, um, it wouldn't, this, this upgrade wouldn't impede it in any fashion, correct? In no way whatsoever. Because it's above it. Correct, okay. exactly. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Any other questions, Councilors? Anybody else? Uh, and thank you, um, thank you, gentlemen, as well. Is there anybody else that needs to uh, or wishes to be heard in favor of this uh, uh, particular um, uh, modification to these polls? Anyone else that wants to be heard? I need to clear that part of the hearing close. Anyone here in opposition? Is anyone here in opposition to? Oh, I'm sorry. May, may I ask a question even Council though I'm Dubois. not in opposition? I apologize. That's yeah, okay. I'm just wondering, do you pay taxes or anything on, on these installations? Um, we, um, well, we, we certainly pay a lot. I don't sit on the um, um, contract side. That's a different group in Chicago. We're actually our office is in Chicago. But we do, um, I don't think it's taxes. I think we pay fees to the city, okay. um, actually. Is there I any way you could, like, um, through the city council president, give us a breakdown of how much you pay the city? Would you have happened to get that from Chicago? Do you have that? I can get it. He, he could get that for you, absolutely. And you would be able to forward that to the clerk or to our city council president? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilor. No one else, uh, uh, anyone else here in opposition to seeing that? I declare the part of the hearing closed. I declare the hearing closed as president, well. President, it looked like there's a gentleman in the back who's in opposition. He had his hand raised. Okay. Come forward, please. I'll reopen that part of the hearing. Yes, my name is Robert Wisgerter, a citizen of Brockton. I just, I'm not in opposition or far. I just have a quick question to the engineer here. Does, it, does this in any way impede the AM signals in this area? It's specifically like 15 Gentlemen, we have to answer that. Uh, absolutely not. They um, all operate in their own uh, FCC regulated frequencies. It does not affect AM radio at all. Very good. Thank you. You heard that answer, Mr. Lucerta? Okay. Very good. Again, we'll uh, act on this at the end of, uh, end of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you both. <clears throat> we have a report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of June 15, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of June 16, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor providing commentary on the fiscal 16 budget. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the CFO providing commentary on the fiscal Accepted 16 Accepted and placed budget. on file. 
We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requested that the City Council transfers $30,000 from Water Personal Service Account to Water Overtime Account in order to fund overtime expenses for the remainder of Fiscal 15 for emergency. Accept and place on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accept and place on file. We have a communication from the Mayor stating he has applied for nine firefighter positions under the provisions of Federal Safer Grant. The grant, if received, would fund these positions for two years with no match. However, the grant requires the city commit to maintaining staff during the grant period. Accepted and placed on file. Communication with the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, <coughs> certifying the proposed no layoffs, no reduction, and current fire staff commitment to FEMA for the proposed safer grant provided that, if necessary, the city will fully utilize its unused levy capacity to do so. This is a conditional commitment to the nature of which should appear on the face of the council order if it is approved. Accepted and placed on file. Councilor Denapoli. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, I would like to make a motion to move item number 39 under the suspension of the rules and vote on this this evening. The fire chief is here and Mr. Condon is here. And I believe you, earlier this week I sent out some information on this grant and, uh, Second. and the fire chief can explain it. Motion has been made and seconded. We take item number 39 out of order and suspend the rules and act on that this evening. All in favor? <laughs> Proposed. Number 39, we will hear. Um, Mr. Clerk? Resolved that the City Council shall notify the branch chief of the assistance to firefighters branch of DHA uh, FEMA that the city, if awarded a safer grant, will commit to maintain its firefighting staffing levels and incur no layoffs during the period of the grant. This is a conditional commitment, the nature of which should appear on the face of the council audit if it is approved. And no councilors have any objections. Uh, Chief Williams is here if he wants to make a comment in regards to it, uh, so we all have a clear understanding. Good evening, Good evening Chief. Mr. President. Good evening, councilors. Um, this basically is, is a FEMA grant that we have applied for in the past and unfortunately we're never awarded that grant. But I guess what has happened in the past is that municipalities that have received the grant found out later on that their body um, in Brockton be the city council um, did not approve the grant. So it kind of created a lot of red tape in that they had to go back and basically reevaluate communities and, and award these grants a second time. So the process that they've come up with to alleviate that problem is get a letter from the board or the body and get a basically a, a, a yes vote ahead of time so that when the, when the grants are awarded, if we're fortunate enough to receive the grant, um, we can proceed forward with it. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Chief. Mr. President. Councilor Denapoli. And Fire Chief. Chief, good, good evening and thank good you evening, for Council. the good news when you called me the other day. Just explain to everybody exactly how many positions this will be. And it's a, it's a two-year hitch. Correct. And it's not matching, no matching grants for the city. Yes. But the city has to continue about maintaining the salaries. And yes. It's a nine-position grant that we've applied for. Um, and basically what that entails is the first two years of salary for nine firefighters uh, in the city of Brockton. Um, we would have to find the, the money in our budget to outfit and equip these firefighters, but that's something that we feel comfortable we could do. But the, the base is their salary for two years. Um, there's also a commitment in there that states that these nor any other firefighters can be laid off in that two-year period. So. Chief Financial Officer Condon has uh, agreed that we uh, are in a state that he feels comfortable that we could uh, commit to that. No said, Council. No, th thank you very much, Chief. You're welcome. Uh, on, on that note, I would uh, like to uh, make a motion to uh, first. First, let me just take other. There are a couple of the councils. Council Cruz. So I just want to make sure I understand, Chief. Thanks for being here. Sure. So this is not. We're not getting this grant yet, but we're oh, telling the them that if they award it, to correct. Us, yeah, but these grants will most likely be awarded before the end of the summer, but there's no definite date yet. And uh, uh, this is probably a question for, through you, Mr. President, yes. to our Ch Legislative Council. We would still have to accept the grant 
officially this is not accepting the grant or is this telling is this it vote is to accept the grant if it's given to us you're committing the city this to what's with what's here yeah, tonight so and you think by the end of the summer you, we should know yes I'm hoping okay good thank you thank you Mr. You President thank, thank you, you Council. Mr. Council's all set on that then the question is on adoption by a roll call vote Mr. Clerk please call the roll Azak yes Cruz yes Annapolis yes Dubois yes Ionary yes Monaghan yes Rodriguez yes Stadinsky yes Sullivan yes Nine in the affirmative and the order is adopted Mr. President move for reconsider reconsideration hope it doesn't fail second action has been made and second for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail all in favor of reconsideration all opposed reconsideration fails thank you thank you chief as well welcome thank you Council. thank you Madam, Mr. Clerk an ordinance amending chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be it ordained by the city council of Brockton as follows chapter 27 zoning hereby amended by adding the following new section 27-32 100 after section 27 32 95 as follows section 27 32 100 c9 resort casino overlay district and council march 23rd 2015 ready to refer the standing committee on ordinance and planning and council june 8 2015 council Cruz motion to amend and was properly seconded passed with third read is amended by a hand vote the recommendation is favorable as amended the question is to be ordained as amended by a roll call vote mr clerk please call the roll Azak. yes Cruz. yes Napoli. yes Juan. yes Ionary. yes Monica. yes rodriguez yes Stadinsky. yes sullivan yes Nine in the, the ordinance is ordained. An ordinance establishing homeowners' rights for the city of Brockton relative to certain foreclosures. Chapter 16, Foreclosures, Article 1, Bill of Rights for Homeowners of the City of Brockton. In Council, April 13, 2015, before the Committee of Ordinance, that report is favorable. And the question is, uh, the question is, um, excuse me, is to be ordained by... Um, Wait a minute, I'm getting myself mixed up tonight. <laughs> Questions being ordained by a roll call vote. Oh, Mr. Oh, Clerk, oh. please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Why? Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. I need an affirmative. And the ordinance is ordained. The City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council. City of Brockton as follows, Chapter 23, Section 30F6, Water Rate Increases, in Council May 11, 2015. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance. Council of Denopoly motion to amend and was properly seconded. Passed with third reading, amended by a hand vote. Recommended favorably as amended. The question is... This is consumption. Okay. The question is to be ordained as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. No. Cruz. Yes. Denapoli. Council of Denapoli. Um, yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative, one in the negative. The ordinance is ordained. Mr. Uh, President. Council Dubois. I would like to motion for reconsideration on number 13 in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion is made and second on uh, reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail on item number 13. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. An audit amended Chapter 23 of the revised audiences of the City of Brockton. It ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 23, Section 30, F6, Water Consumption. And Council, March 23rd, 2015. Mr. President. Water rates. Um, so on the first one, it said water rates, but on our agenda, it says water consumption. And on this one, number 15, our agenda says water rates, and um, it's the reading was consumption. I only ask because I'm going to vote differently on each of these. So I just want to make sure that we're clear what we're voting on. We're on number 15. 15 on our agenda says, um, the agenda I'm looking at says um, water rate increase. And 14 on the agenda I'm looking at says water consumption. So maybe there are two different I agendas. You're, I, I believe you're, you're correct there, Councilor. Oh, why don't we break for one minute? Break for one minute. 
Take a two-minute recess. Council's back in session, please. Councilors. We got three, four, and two is six. Okay. Councilors, what we're voting on now is the water rate increases. Mr. Clerk. Okay, this would be an audit submitted chapter 23 and revised audits of City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council, City of Brockton, as follows. Chapter 23, <coughs> Section 30, F6, Water Rate Increases, in Council May 11, 2015, for the Committee on Ordinance, in Council June 8, 2015, Council Denopoli motion to amend, properly seconded, passed to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. Recommendation is favorable as amended. The question is to be ordained by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azan. No. Cruz. Yes. Denapoli. Yes. Dubois. No. Ionieri. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Mr. Sullivan. No. Three in the affirmative, five in the negative. The ordinance fails. Ordered that the City Council hereby extends and expends the grant award in the amount of $10,000 from yeah, Mass Humanities to City of Brockton, support of stride towards freedom, together connecting Brockton's diversity by exploring our common ground. The grant is to be matched by at least 2000 in cash and 9900 in in-kind services. The Mayor is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate such grant. And Council May 26, 2015, referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. Uh, all in favor of the amendment? All opposed? The amendment passes. Now the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Denapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Ioneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection for Lot 4, Aim Street, Brockton, Book 44409, page 103, owned by Dennis Morrissey, Family RT, in Council May 26, 2015. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azan. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denapoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. We yeah, want to take 18 through. Mr. President. I think it's 18 through. Two thirty-two. Two thirty. Oh, I'm sorry. Two thirty-two. Uh, Council Dubois. May I please? Um, I would like to take. Uh, I would like to. Um, what am I looking to do? I'm looking to. Uh, what is? What is the word? I'm looking to. Collectively. You could take them collectively. No, I'm. Oh, I'm okay. still on uh, seventeen, and I am looking to. You buying tonight or something? What is it? What did I just move for reconsideration? Motion for reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. I'm sorry, it fell out of my head. Second for uh, reconsideration, hopes it does not prevail on item number 17. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, and we did. Mr. President, Councilor Sullivan. I'd like to take collectively all the uh, revolving funds, if I could, which would be, I believe, 18 through 18 through number 32, I believe. Second. 32, correct. 18 through 13. Motion has been made. The second that we take items number 18 through 32. Those are the revolving accounts, which we do each and every year, and we'll take them uh, collectively. Mm -hmm. each, each of the following departments uh, have requested revolving funds, and they have been recorded favorably. And uh, number one would be the 2000 uh, reestablishment of the revolving fund for fiscal 2016 for the purpose of reimbursing the departments, the auditor's department, for not more than $10,000. The animal control revolving fund 
but not more than 5,000 miles. The park and authority revolving about no more than 250,000 dollars. The uh, cash receipts from Comcast distributing from the board and the, board, the cable board and the mayor. That the Women's Commission on receipts and donations for various events. The police of chief ordinary maintenance expenses for not more than thirty-five thousand dollars. The K-9 unit of the Brockton Police Department. The grave liners acquisition and installation of grave liners exclusively of the cost of labor for repair and maintenance, one hundred thousand dollars. That would be the Cemetery Board of Trustees. The account under the control of the mayor for the Manning pool will not exceed fifty thousand dollars. The 40R Smart Granite Sensor sort of Revolving Fund for said repeats for planning and economic development. The Revolving Fund for the funding in connection with the demolition of buildings under the direction of the building superintendent. The Revolving Fund for the War Memorial Building under the direction of the mayor. The creation and maintenance of abandoned <coughs> building registry as well in closing the boarding up of vacant abandoned buildings, Brockton Building Commission, not to exceed $250,000. They keep Brockton beautiful by the commission of the DPW. The composting bid distribution, the DPW Commission. These are all uh, recommended favorably. The question now is an adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Bob. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the orders have been adopted. We have the audit budget for fiscal 2016 and council May 26, 2015. Ready for the standing committee on finance. That report is favorable as amended. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? I do the amendments. Oh, Mr. President? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Don't we have to take the pieces and pass the budget or no? He's going to do the first two amendments. Do the two amendments and you take other amendments. Okay. Um, any other? Let me do the first two amendments here, correct? Yes. Okay. The question is on amending the budget by reducing the law department ordinary maintenance service by 100000 from 562477 to 462477 All in favor of that amendment? Opposed? That amendment passes. We, have, we also have the other amendment amending the budget by reducing the DPW Water Commission desalination charges by six million three hundred ninety five thousand six hundred and thirty from six million three hundred ninety five thousand six hundred thirty one to one dollar. All in favor. Mr. President, we get a roll call? We can have a roll call on that, Mr. Clerk. Azan. Yes. Cruz. No. Denapoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monahan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative, two in the negative. Right. The amendment passes. The amendment passes. Now, councillors, we'll go to any other amendments that you may have to offer this evening in regards to the budget for FY 2016. Councillor DeNapoli. I hereby move from the mayor's office personal services the amount of $11,474, reduced from 493664 to 482190. Second. Second. Huh? Motion has been made and seconded that we're reducing that amount of money from the uh, mayor's office. Uh, roll call vote. Roll call, Mr. President. Azak. <sighs> no. Cruz. No. Canapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Ionieri? No. Monahan? No. Rodriguez? No. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Four in the affirmative, five in the negative. Does not pass. Correct? Mm -hmm. Does not pass. Any other amendments? Hmm? 
Okay, if not, we will, re we will now proceed to vote on the, uh, on the budget, councillors. Okay. The question is, uh, is first on the budget for DPW Water Enterprise for fiscal year 2016 by a roll call vote. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Danapoli. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative. That uh, part of the budget, uh, DPW budget passes. The question is on the budget for personnel department for fiscal year 2016 by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk. Azak. Yes. Denapoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Solomon. Yes. Aiding the affirmative. That also passes. Now the question is on the budget for the fiscal year 2016 as amended. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denapoli. No. Dubois. No. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. No. Six in the affirmative, three in the negative. And the fiscal year budget for 2016 um, has passed. We have uh, 34, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. Resolve the representative from American Response, AMR, be invited to appear before the Finance Committee to discuss their past practices and operational endeavors over the past 30 years servicing the City of Brockton in Council June 8, 2015. Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council President, Sullivan. Council before, Sullivan. before we take a vote, I wanted to go on a record and thank you uh, for your leadership last week. You gave some leniency. I think the three individuals that spoke from AMR spoke from the heart. They educated, without question, the bodies of this legislative uh, branch. So I just want to thank, thank you. you, and I want to thank the reps from AMR for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. I appreciate that. <laughs> the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stradinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved. Mo uh, Council Sullivan. Motion for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion for main second for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Resolve that Mr. John Williams be invited to appear before the Finance Committee to discuss his educational mentoring program. Champion City and to fully detail the success and proven benefits provided the student participants. In Council June 8, 2015, refer the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Bois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The, the order is adopted. Order that the mayor and our treasurer be authorized to sell to Gen Genco LLC, having a usual place of business at 1014 Pearl Street, Rockton, the parcel of land located at, known as said portion of Coesit Cemetery, any amount of $9,774.50, and Council May 26, 2015. Refer the Committee on Real Estate. That report is favorable. Mr. Question President. Question adoption by Council Dubois. Um, may I please ask uh, a question about this? You may. Um, <coughs> is this the the cemetery that there's talk about putting a crematorium at, is this the parcel no. of the land? No. no. No, this is the Cohesive Cemetery at Pearl Street. Pearl Street. Thank you very much. No. You're welcome, Councillor. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Danapoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studensky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Order that the restrictions at plot 25 AIM streets containing about 8,550 square feet as shown in plan number 164 on file in the office of the assessor shall be a non-buildable lot. In Council May 11, 2015, refer the Committee on Real Estate. That report is favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? Opposed? Amendment passes. The question is now an adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clark, please call the roll. 
Azak. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Bois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Sir. I'm in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Mr. President. Councilor Monaghan. Like, uh, to make a motion to take uh, number 38 under suspension of the rules and act on it tonight. Mr. Raleigh is here to uh, answer Second. any questions. Motion been made and second that we take this and act on it this evening. Uh, suspend the rules and act on it this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? We'll act on it this evening. Uh, questions on um, uh, granting by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Transfer of $30,000 from the B DPW Water Department Personal Services other than overtime to DPW Water Department Personal Services overtime in order to cover any emergencies for the remainder of fiscal 15. I just uh, some quick call, call the roll on that particular item. Hayes hat. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Van Erie. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Mr. President. Council. Make a motion for reconsideration. There's a hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. Planning of Extent Systems, Inc. for upgrade and modification to 13 and 16 pole locations and distributed antenna systems for telecommunication wires and emergencies. The question is now on granting. All in favor of granting? Opposed? The petition has been granted. Councilors, um, just, just one second, just while it's fresh in my head. Uh, our next meeting will be uh, July 20th. That's when we'll have finance. There are a few items that we refer to the particular meeting in July. It will probably be a short meeting, but we will not meet until Monday, July 20th. And then we'll follow in the following week. We have a city council meeting on Monday, July 27th, uh, 2015, at, uh, 2015, excuse me, at 8 p.m. here in the council chamber. So we're in, uh, in our summer schedule mode. So. Just so everybody knows that. Council Dubois. Mr. Mr. President, I have two late files that are sewer connections that I would like to take collectively under suspension of the rules and action this evening. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. We take two uh, late files. Orders, yeah, two late files. Two orders, late files. Do we, um, we need them up here and then we can. Okay, you'll read yeah. them here. Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue a single family <coughs> home sewer connection to plot 25 Ames Street, plan number 164. Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue two single family home sewer connections to 164-166 Ames Street for the property owned by Ishmael Eugene. And we can vote on them uh, together. That's on sewer connections that have been offered by Council Dubois. Uh, Mr. Clerk, you call the roll. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Mr. President. Note is adopted. Yes. I would like to move to, for reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail on both of these items. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail on both those items. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. Any other, uh, any other Mr. business? Mr. President. Councilor? A moment of personal privilege. But you may, Councilor. I'd like to announce that we have a special Ward 7 meeting this coming Wednesday. Um, June 24th at 7 p.m. at North Middle School. I have a developer that's looking at 629 Pleasant Street and they will have plans and be able to answer some questions um, to people in the ward, ward 7 and I believe Ward 1 also it borders um, <coughs> both wards. So I'd love to see everybody there and um, if anybody has any questions feel free to contact me. Um, on another note I would like to announce that I was in Washington last week and um, it was my honor to be with uh, a group from Massachusetts for National History Day and uh, Brockton was well represented. There was three young ladies from the Pliff School. Um, one of them is my daughter. Yay. And um, I have to say the two young ladies, um, Megan Ortendahl and um, Lara, I believe it's, um, I don't want to say the wrong last Was name. So I don't have it. I'm so I thought it was Cardosa. Cardosa, it is. Uh, Lara Cardosa, and um, they did an exhibit, and their exhibit, they were honored from Massachusetts to present their exhibit at the Smithsonian, which is 
Um, it was a great honor. And Alexandra Eunice actually won. Um, she had the uh, outstanding entry, junior entry from Massachusetts. So it was, I was honored to be amongst all these young people, and hopefully next year we get more people from Brockton because it was well represented. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Dubois. Um, Mr. President, may I have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may, Councilor. Thank you so much. So um, since we won't be meeting until the 20th, I would just like those that are watching to know that there's a Zoning Board of Appeals meeting on July 14th and at 7 p.m. And they're going to be um, discussing the issuance of a variance to cut down, um, like, so many acres, I don't know the exact number, it might be between 30 and 60 acres of trees, and put in a solar panel field in the middle of a residential neighborhood. So if you are interested in that, it's something I oppose. Um, we hope that you'll come to the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting on July 14th at 7 p.m. And any person in Brockton that lives next to a wooded parcel of land that's zoned R1C, which you think only single family homes can go into, you all should be paying attention to this because this, if this gets approved, puts all your, all your parcel and your uh, property values in jeopardy because then everyone can just be cutting down all trees and putting up solar panels fields in residential R1 zones. So it's definitely something to be cognizant of, and that meeting is on July 14th here in City Hall on the second floor at 7 p.m. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. And I, I will be hosting a ward meeting tomorrow evening at the John F. Kennedy School from uh, 7 to 8.30 p.m. It's a, a night to come and meet both our new chiefs, our Fire Chief Williams and our Fire Chief, uh, uh, excuse me, Police Chief Crowley will be present uh, as well. So if anyone wants to come by, any of my colleagues, I do invite you to come by from 7 p.m. to 8.30 tomorrow at the Kennedy School. Any other business to come before this uh, council this evening? Seeing none, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>